How about this game? What an amazing finish. Butch Jones, Tennessee, looking to bounce back after their bye week. Jared Garitano getting the start. Well, you knew that John Kelly should rightfully so get the rock, and he did it early and often. Yeah, and they should have because this, again, is one of the best backs in this league, and that's a mouthful because of the backs we do have in the league. But yep. he's always productive, tough inside, outside, just a great football player. He finishes, doesn't he? I mean, this is a guy that's slight in stature but runs physically like he's much bigger than what his actual build is. Reoccurring thing, Vols will get a field goal there. Garitano throws it back to Josh Smith. John Kelly! Oh! Would have been a sports center top ten play. That's a running back out there. Receiver knows to fade with a little bit. Mm -hmm. Nice throw by the wide receiver. Yeah. Let's give credit to uh, where credit's too. Absolutely. AJ Turner, 21 yards to the house. Gamecocks botched the extra point, though. So the game would remain tied at nine. That would come into play big time in the second half. Or rather in the fourth quarter. In that fourth, third and four for the Gamecocks, Jake Bentley. Finds Jacob August for the first down. The first down would set up Parker White's go-ahead field goal. It's always kind of a intriguing when you see South Carolina trying to kick field goals. Both of these teams struggle with field goals. All right, so 59, first and goal. No, but there is a flag. Tennessee staying alive with nine seconds. This is on the heels of a 73-yard drive. So first and goal again, six seconds left. Almost sacked. All right, down to four seconds. Time for one more play, right? Just one more one play. Clock. You never get a friendly you clock think. at home in the <laughs> SEC. Boy, that's a long second. It stays up there. So now third and goal, game on the line. Tennessee, no. Falls to three and three on the season. South Carolina picks up yet another W, 5-2 and two on the year for Will Muschamp squad. Now Tennessee has to travel next week to Tuscaloosa and play Alabama.